Hi, welcome to this section on effective body language. Research has shown that speaker's impact, the impression you make on your audience, is made up of three parts. There's your visual impact, and by that I mean your body language, your voice, and the words you use in your presentation. And the relative weightings of these parts are that your words count for 7%, your voice for 38 and your visual impact, your body language, for 55%. So you can see how important body language is. Essentially, your body language should convey to your audience that you are confident, enthusiastic, and trustworthy. You can imagine being in the audience yourself, and the presenter walks on. Before they've even said a word, you're judging them from their body language and deciding whether they look confident and enthusiastic. So you need to demonstrate good body language from the very first moment that your audience sees you. You need to give the right visual impression if you want them to listen to what you have to say. Therefore, we're going to consider body language in three areas, starting with your feet. When you're giving a presentation, you should stand still. If you walk and talk at the same time, your audience will find this very distracting. You don't want to be swaying from side to side either or tracing a pattern on the carpet with your feet. The next thing we'll look at is hands. What to do with the hands and where to place them is a common concern. The best thing to do is to keep your hands by the sides of your body. Your hands should either be open or holding your presentation notes. This may feel a little bit strange, but it looks natural to your audience. Hand gestures are also important. They help to emphasise the key parts of your presentation. Make sure that your hand gestures are big enough so that they can be seen by everyone in the audience. So if you're talking to a large group of people, you need to slightly exaggerate your hand gestures. Now let's move up to your head. I know this is difficult, but you need to appear relaxed, even if you're feeling nervous. If you seem relaxed, your audience will respond to you more positively, which will help you feel more relaxed. So try and relax your face, muscles, and smile if you can. The other big thing, of course, is to make eye contact with your audience. This will help maintain their interest and ensure that they feel involved. Now, for those who are new to presenting, this can feel quite overwhelming. You're suddenly faced with a sea of faces looking at you. The secret to making effective eye contact is to pretend to have a conversation with just one person in the audience. So pick someone and talk directly to them. However, you obviously don't talk to them for the whole of your presentation. So when you've made one point, move on to someone else and talk directly to them. In this way, you're having a series of one-to-one conversations with different people in your audience and you're not overwhelmed by the number of people listening to you. So in summary, it's essential that you have correct body language for your presentation as this will count for 55% of your overall impact with your audience. Therefore, remember to stand still while you're talking, keep your hands relaxed and down by the sides of your body, make gestures that are large enough so that they can be seen by everyone, try and look relaxed and smile if you can, and make eye contact with your audience by having a series of one-to-one conversations. In that way, you'll convince your audience that you're confident, enthusiastic and trustworthy.